Hello. I pray that you are well today. The Word of God, we go back to the Gospel of John, particularly John chapter 6, and we look specifically at the first I am statement. The I am statement that says, and when they found him in verse 25 on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get there? Jesus answered, very truly I tell you they're looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. And they asked him, what must we do to do the works that God requires? Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, what sign will you give that you may see it and believe in you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread to, from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, it's not Moses who has given you bread from heaven, but it is my father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. The first time he writes in verse 35, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never grow hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. I'm the bread of life. The first I am statement is that Jesus says, I am the bread of life. I am, I am the one who sustains you. I am the one who gives you. I don't know, there was a bakery by our house called Wilbert's Bakery. And in all honesty, whenever you walk past it, it smelled like fresh baked bread. It was unbelievable, so great. And you would go in and you would see not just bread, but pies and cookies and cakes and cream puffs in particular. And the idea here in comparison to all of those, bread seemed like it wasn't quite as good. But as my, as I've gotten older, you know, they say man cannot live on bread alone. Ah, I, I think um, as far as eating, the scripture means, though, man will not live on bread alone, but, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That's the same idea. It's a spiritual sustenance. It's not just physical sustenance. It's not just physical bread. It's spiritual sustenance. It says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never grow hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So if we go to God, he will give us precisely what we need. But as I told you, you've seen me and still you do not believe. All those who the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I've come down from heaven not to do the will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me that I shall lose none of all of those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. At the last day. He's talking about sustenance and he's talking about heaven. At this, the Jews began to grumble about him and said, because he, he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he say he came down from heaven? Jesus answered, stop grumbling among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. I want to tell you, Jesus is enough. He is sufficient. He's not just sufficient for this life. He's sufficient for the next life. The scripture writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9, they rail it, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Are you weak? I am. I certainly am weak. I need Jesus' sufficiency. I need his power. His power is made perfect in weakness. So when, when we don't have what we need, he feeds us. He sustains us. He is the bread of life. He is a sustenance to our souls. I pray for whatever you are filling your life with now, may you hear the words that Jesus is enough. Jesus is sufficient. Jesus is your bread of life. Please pray with me. Lord God, give us what we need. We pray and give you thanks that you are the bread of life and that who we come to you will never grow hungry. We come to you will never be thirsty, but you will raise us up on that last day that heaven is real and you will sustain us until that point and beyond. 
In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.